Hey guys, it's Bridgette with Sandy Seed Company, and if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know I'm so excited about my new baby. We just picked up this Winnow Wizard made specially for us up in Oregon by our friend uh, Mark Lutera, Lutera Enterprises, and this is a spectacular piece of equipment. It is uh, specialty made for seed cleaning and it uses the ancient technology of winnowing, so using wind or air to clean seeds, um, but it's ancient technology that is married with some really beautiful modern technology that makes it more precise and allows us to clean the seed that we sell to you guys. Now before we start, if you love what we do, hit the like and subscribe button, you're notified Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Sorry about that. Yeah. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Your notes. <laughs> okay. We're good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, before we jump into that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you're notified anytime we put out a video. All right. Let's hop into it. So, I've got okra seed that you guys, I'm sure, have seen. We produce this out on our Ramona farm. It's fairly clean now, but it's not completely clean. We have um, sticks, um, material in here that shouldn't be in here, and also there are probably seeds that need to be taken out because they're not of good quality. Like, there's a good example. That little guy, too little, shriveled up, not, not as good of quality as this. And so I can do that with this machine. So let's make it happen here. Let me plug her in. Do, 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 do. So basic concept, wind blows through here. I have screens that I can use to change the wind flow. Seed falls here. Um, lighter seed, dirt, chaff, things like that gets blown into this first bucket, whereas heavier seed falls into the second bucket, this bucket that's closer here. So, um, I, I mean, make sure my valve is closed, okay. Plug in my agitator here and my feed tray. And we're gonna flip her on. Wait a minute. This is literally like the fifth time I've ever used this and it's not turning on because it turned around, but maybe I should plug it in. Ha! Okay, bear with me. That's hilarious. It's the little details. Okay, take two. Ah. All right. So I'm gonna open her up here. And so I can move this so that I know exactly where the stream of good seed and bad seed is. Now you can see this perfect line of seed. And every once in a while, you get seed that hits this and is falling into here. And that's how we, that's how we clean it. Because you can see in here, all these seeds are lighter. We also have sticks. Um, things that you don't want in your final seed product. And I can clean this as hard as I want, meaning I can continue to move this and continue to clear off more of the lighter seed and potentially bad seed by moving this back and allowing for the air force to push light seed into here heavy seed falls into here. Come here. Now what's really neat about this machine is it's allowing us to do way more volume than we could before. This is our small seed cleaning machine, one of the many that we have. And it's great, but it's really, we've outgrown it. I'm very proud to say that we have uh, gotten bigger and this no longer is a viable size for the amount of seed that we're producing. Whereas with this piece of equipment, I can put a lot of seed, a very large volume of seed up here 
turn on the feeder, which turns inside there and continues to feed it. And I can be a little bit hands-free and allow this just to continue to run. It's really a beautiful piece of equipment. Very excited about it. Now let's just let this keep running, continuing to do its thing. And then I'll show you the difference between the two lots of what we've claimed. Okay, it's almost done here, and I'm gonna show you what we were able to get out of here. So, you can see, there's two different things that you can see here between, between these two lots. One, obviously it's very dirty. There's still, we got one little stick in here, but I'll continue to run it. But the other big difference of what you're seeing here is look at the color. These small black ones are immature seed or seed that's really uh, didn't develop properly, are shriveled, whereas these big, plump, heavy seeds have full embryos and are likely to be of way better quality than, than this. So this is the difference. And what's really neat is when you do large batches, I mean, you can tell just by looking at it, the color, the cleanliness, and the quality between the two lots. So for those of you who know, I love seeds, love everything about seeds, and I love sharing a little bit of behind the scenes of how we get seeds from the farm to you, and this is just one of the ways and one of the pieces of equipment that we have to use to make that happen.